and my mind's racing. Hi guys, and um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been forever since I have done a makeup tutorial, and most weekends I go out, I get inundated with questions about my eyeshadows, the lashes I'm wearing, the foundation I'm wearing, even the tan I'm wearing. So in this particular video today, I have gone through this look that I do most weekends. Sometimes I just kind of change it up with different types of colors, but I love a beautiful orangey, kind of burnt orange look with a nice bit of sparkle on the inside, quite smoked out underneath, lashes of course, and then also a lot of contouring and highlighting, which is totally my look. I don't care how much like a disco ball I look at the weekends, I'm all about go big or go home. Go big or go home in your highlight, your application, that's just me and yeah, I get lots of questions about my makeup. So if you like the look of this particular nighttime look and you wanna find out how I achieve it or how you can achieve it, then just stay watching. So before I always start my foundation, I apply my moisturizer and also a little bit of primer. So at the moment, I'm trying out the Creme de la Mer um, moisturizer. Um, we were on a press trip in Oslango and they gave us one of these to try. So I'm gonna pop a bit of the perfecting treatment all over my face. I'm gonna pop this all over my whole face, just to kind of hydrate it and give it a good base for my foundation. Moving on to primer, I always use the Flormar Double Radiance Primer. It's like a golden kind of dewy finish, just gives the skin a nice bright look. Using a crown brush brush, I link all the brush um, types below. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. Not only is this a really nice kind of dewy um, highlighter effect, it also acts as a primer, which is going to lock in your foundation. As you can see, I'm kind of suffering with uh, dark circles at the moment, and I'm also very dehydrated because I'm taking hay fever tablets and it just seems to be drying out my skin. So I'm going to conceal under my eyes first. Taking my Inglot concealer in number 58, it's this like peachy color concealer, which is really good for under, under or bags under your eyes. Using my finger, I'm just going to pop that on ever so lightly. And then another crown brush with a really kind of thin end. I'm just going to pat that in underneath the eye. And that kind of orangey color is almost like a color corrector. So it takes that kind of dark bag or um, pigmentation away from under your eye. At the moment, I'm using the Naked um, Skin by Urban Decay, the Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup Foundation. Really light. Nice coverage, and I'm wearing it in shade 50. Using the same crown brush from before, I'm just going to apply that into the brush and lightly apply a thin layer of the foundation all over, starting on my cheeks. For summer, I think it's really nice to kind of wear a nice light foundation. And then like it kind of gives it kind of gives your skin um like room to breathe. And then obviously then if you're going out that night or looking for a little bit of extra coverage, you can do it with your highlighting and your contouring using concealers. Okay, moving on to highlighting and contouring. As I'm sure most of you know by now, I have my own beauty range of products called Saisu. And this is my contouring palette. And it says demo here because basically I always use this particular one for any demos that I'm doing at my workshops. So I'm going to use that one today. So this is it here. So for anyone that doesn't know anything about my contour palette, it's six uh, colors. You've got your three concealers. You've got your lighter one for highlighting, your darker one for contouring. I use this as a foundation for going out. You can also use it if you're a little bit more fair for your contouring. You've got your really nice pigmented highlighter that I'll show you how to use. And then you've got your two powders then for setting your highlighting and contouring. So I'm gonna get stuck in with that now and show you how I do it. So starting with my C456 pointed blender, I'm going to go into my darker color here, which is shade two. And the good thing about the Sosu concealers is they are so creamy, so they blend super easy. So I'm gonna start from underneath the ear and I'm just going to bring it down and stop here. Sometimes when people are contouring, they bring it down to here, but the problem there is you then give yourself like what looks like a dark, hairy lip. So when you suck in and you kind of see where your face stops, that's usually where I bring my contour to. 
I also then draw it up into the um, temple. I bring it along the hairline, dot back in, down along the temple, and then just underneath the cheekbone again. If you have a large nose or you want to give your nose that slimming effect, you then can take your pointed brush again, go from underneath your eyebrow there, down the center of your nose ever so slightly, and again from there, down the side of your nose ever so slightly. And this will give you the illusion of a slimmer nose. Taking one of my other crown brush brushes, I'm gonna dab into shade one, and I'm gonna put this basically in a triangle starting from the inner corner of my eye, down and then upwards and this and then I fill it in and then this is usually where I highlight so you're kind of giving yourself a triangle effect you're going to go into the middle of the forehead like a fan and then turn your brush on its side and then just come down the center of the nose like so if you want to contour the, the top of your lip and your jaw um, and all that you can, but I tend not to. Up next is blending. I usually take my So Su Pro Blender and a little bit of fixing spray from Clarence and I just dampen down my blender. Starting off with a darker colour, you're basically just going to push the product into the skin. You're not going to move it too much. It's simple to use and also on top of that it makes blending really, really quick. I usually clean it off with my wipe and then I go in and I pat in the lighter colour. After I have blended in my highlight and contour, I'm now going to go and set them and just define the areas a little bit more. So taking my angled crown brush brush and into my shade 6 here, which is my actual bronzer. I'm going to shake off any excess and redefine the area that we also just contoured and also just help set that with the powder. And as I'm applying the powders, I always take my foundation brush and just ensure that none of the darker colour falls underneath here because you want to keep this area here as bright as you can and this area here simply shaded. Angle brush into the lighter colour and you're then just going to set underneath the eye, centre of the forehead, centre of the nose and over the lip. Now I'm nowhere near finished my face um, in terms of my blusher and my highlighter and all, I usually come back to that at the very end. So now I'm going to move on to eyebrows. With my eyebrows, I generally use my crown brush brushes and my HT Brow palette. I'm not going to show you here in this video how I do it because I have a video already um, in, on my YouTube channel showing how I do my brows, so I will leave that below. Now for the eyes, I'm going to start off with shade 3 from my contouring palette. I'm going to take a fluffy blender brush from crown brush into shade 3 and I'm going to apply this colour all over my lid. And what this does is it just sets my lid um, it sets basically any kind of foundations that are there and it just kind of gives me a base to work with. So it's almost like prim priming my lid. Taking another fluffy brush, the C441 from uh, Crown Brush and 335 from Inglot, which is this kind of orangey colour. I'm just going to apply this all over my uh, lid, which will kind of give me my transition colour. As well. So I suppose key is always just to keep blending so you have no kind of harsh lines. When you have your transition colour applied, I then take Inglot 605, which is this beautiful burnt orange colour, and a crown brush brush again in C433. The C433 is kind of flat and it's great for applying this colour. And what I do with this is I shake off the excess and I start to apply it into my crease and this is a beautiful kind of like a sparkly orange almost like a cranberry colour and I just love the kind of finish it gives. I'm taking my blending brush again and then just going to blend that 
and softly. I'm then using that same crown brush brush, the flat one, into the dark brown from Inglot, which is 329. I'm going to apply that solely just into the crease, just to kind of give it a little bit more depth. And a blender again, and you're just going to blend that. Then taking another crown brush and a matte white from Inglot 373, I'm just going to apply that here and just help blend out them shadows and bring it right up into the underbrow area. Taking a pencil brush and that second colour we use, 605 from Inglot, I'm just going to apply it underneath the lash line. Taking a pencil brush into um, a matte black and then just going to smoke this under eye out a little bit more. Taking my Studio Glam liner in from Crown Brush, I'm now going to create a cat eye effect. This is a liquid liner and it's like super easy to use. After I've lined the upper cat eye, I then take my Urban Decay Precision um, Eyeliner and Cull. I'm going to apply that into the waterline. So back into my palette, I'm going to take shade one. Just tidy up that area. Now for lashes, I'm going to use my own range of lashes. It's going to be launching in July. This is a mock-up of the box. It's not the actual box, but it's going to be very, very similar. And these are the Human Hair Premium Lashes. So this is the style in Katie, and I'm going to pop these on now. Okay, I think they're set now, so I'm going to apply some of the brown mascara to the upper lashes. And what I'm doing is I'm just basically just blending my own lashes up into the so sue false lashes just so there's no kind of divide between the two and i also use this time to kind of really push the lashes up to give that really exaggerated look okay and to finish off the eyes i've been using this urban decay little beauty the past couple of nights out it's called cosmic eyeshadow it's the camera's not really picking it up there but like it's a really 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 glittery color see it there on my hand it's just divine so what I do is, I get a little brush, like so, dab it in, and I shake off the excess, and I literally just place it on the inner part of my eye, just to kind of give that glow. Now, like I was saying to you earlier on, I kind of always come back to the face after I've kind of done my eyes, and then I can kind of add any more contour if I wish. And then just before I apply my blush, this is how I apply shade five here which is my highlighter. So I take my beauty blender, like I said earlier on, and then I dampen it down with any kind of fixing spray. I use the Clarins one, Fix, fix Makeup. I take my beauty blender into the palette and I swirl it around like so, and then you're gonna have the product on the blender. What I then do is I just kind of run it like that. You see that going on? Run it along the cheek. Because it's velvety, it just flies on. And then I dab it in again, and then on the other cheek, you might see it better here, see? I just apply it like that um, underneath and then I dab it in as well. This highlighter is life. Like I go out looking like a disco ball. What you can do is you can take your crown brush brush and then you can kind of just blend it in because it is quite intense. So if you don't want that really crazy highlight then you can just take your brush and blend it in a little bit more. 
And then to give my face a little bit of colour, I always go over the highlight then with my angled contour brush and a peachy coloured eyeshadow or blusher, sorry, sorry. The one I like at the moment is the Urban Decay. This is Afterglow Highlighter. So what I do is, it's like a peach tone. I dab in there, shake off your excess, pout, and then just bring your highlighter, blusher color up into the highlighter that you just put on, and it gives a little bit more color. And then I take my Inglot Freedom Palette, this lovely peachy color here, I dab in there, shake off the excess, and then I really give myself a little bit of extra color. Now I'm looking a little bit shiny here, so I'm gonna powder that down. So taking another angle brush, I've like 10 of these. These are the C405s, I think. Dab the corner into the powder, the setting powder, and then I'm just gonna just set that there. See where that shine is instantly gone? This is okay to be shiny and slightly here, but you don't look like you're sweating. So. I'm gonna use a Penny's Duo here. So we have the PS Lip Liner Crayon, and um, it's just the nude one. I'm gonna line my lips with that. And then I always go under my lip. Like, that's not my lip, it's my mouth. But I always go under there to give the illusion of fuller lips. Kind of like overlining, but not ridiculously so. So for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with this PS range from Penny's. There is no name on it, would you believe? It just says lipstick in different languages, but this is like a nudie color, and then it's matte as well. And I'm gonna add a touch of gloss. And um, that's it. So that is generally how I do my makeup for the weekend. As you can see, it's pretty easy, I think. Well, it is for me, because I'm doing it like every weekend for ages. But yeah, so just a range of different kind of burnt orangey browns. You don't have to be too fussy. I don't claim myself to be a makeup artist. This is just kind of how I like doing my makeup myself. The kind of tones I think suits me. So as you can see, nice kind of burnt orange tones. Lashes, these are the KD um, style lashes. They're going to be 5 95 available in pharmacies nationwide. And hopefully pennies are going to take them as well. You can see my base and the contour palette really did do it all. This bad boy is going to change your life. If you haven't got it, pick it up. It's 29.95. It's available in most pharmacies. It'll be back on sale on Sosu.ie uh, next week. But it literally just does all the concealing for you. It does all the setting for you. A nice light base of the foundation, the naked foundation earlier on, did the job. You don't have to go caking on your foundation and then contouring and highlighting. So this is it, guys. A very, very, very simple, uh, very achievable. And this is generally what I do with the weekends. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions, you can leave them below in the question box. And I'll try my best to answer them. Have a lovely evening and I'll talk to y'all soon.